Isabel, what you doing? Where's she going? Hey, the yard's the other way, silly. What you doing over there? Huh? Bunny rabbit. What? If what? You don't you think if you don't move, I'm just like not going to see you? Oh, so that's how it is. Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. How are y'all doing today? So I have some more computer hardware that I want to show you guys. Y'all may or may not remember some of this. Um, our new GPU water block has arrived, and I'm excited to show you guys this. Um, I want to show y'all this real quick, though. This is really cool. This is made by Noctua. Noctua. And it's their NAFC1 fan controller. Okay, so check this out. This is really cool. You can hit the power button, and then it has this knob to where you can adjust the fan speed. So you can make the fan slower, or you can make it faster. And I thought, well, that would be really cool because when I'm ready, this is going to be like set up on my bench, you know, like, let's just say like that. And I want to test some fans, boom, boom, plug them in, hit the power button. If I want them at full speed, full speed it is. If I want to turn them down, then I turn them down. That simple. You know, I thought it'd be kind of cool. I haven't opened this stuff uh, in over a year. So this is the first time I've opened it. Got some sawdust in there. I knew this much when I left it in here when I was doing the construction. I thought about it afterwards. I was like, crap, I'm going to have to take all of these fittings out and give them a bath because look, see that? They're all dirty. They're all full of little dust particles. So that sucks. My bits power fittings. All right, so this right here is $100 in each of those fittings. That's why they're in this protective case. Each one of those fittings was about 50 bucks. I think there were like, this one was like 47, and this one was 50. But, wow, it even got dust on it. That's crazy. Leave a like if you enjoy these kinds of videos of me showing you hardware. These blocks, and I got three of these. Um, I would like to run a dual loop system on each side, so. Like here, okay, so here's the case, you know, I'm thinking that maybe I could have like a, a reservoir like here, see how it looks, it looks cool, no matter which way you put it, maybe I can put them up here, I don't know, up front, I don't know, maybe up front on the front like that, mount it like right there on each side, I don't know, I want, I want to try to keep it uniform, what the hell is this? an axe hanging off of this I don't know I still need to fix that bottom thread uh, but yeah that's the uh, the reservoir looks I love the look of it man it just it looks incredible that T virus spiral in there um, I even have the the cathode lights that go down inside of here that light up the reservoir I got those But yeah, this is made out of aluminum instead of plastic, which is a nice feature. Because the other T-Virus uh, ones, are the caps on them are all plastic and they crack after a while. But this is all aluminum and this, uh, this is about 50 bucks. And like I said, I bought three of them. The reason why I bought three of them is two to use and one to keep as a backup because you just, you never know, you know what I mean? The controller burnt out in it. And it was a little upsetting to hear that. So um, I reached out to them and they actually sent me a whole another one. So I used the controller out of this to power one. So I tried to keep one brand new and I tried to use one. And to tell you the truth, I don't remember which one is which. Maybe this is the new one because this controller does not appear to be. Maybe it is. I don't remember. Um, but yeah. I want to use this water block for our upcoming build and using a Thermaltake water block with bits powered fittings, uh, I don't know, Thermaltake pumps, does it really matter the brand? But I really like the block, you can see what it looks like all lit up, it looks really nice. Our new bits powered water block. 
Well, technically, it's used new. Um, I bought it new, used off of eBay. Um, you can see that the fittings and stuff are still sitting in the bag. The thermal paste has never been used. The conductive strips or the thermal, like the padding, those have never been used. Okay, manual stuff. Cool, in and out, showing you the directions. Ah, oh, yes, very nice. Um, I went ahead and bought a spare RGB strip for the bottom of it. Oh, crap. There we go. Nice, so this is going to fit our GTX 1080 that we got going in. Um, I would like to get a 3070 or 3080 or 2080, but that's just not happening right now. Took out the flow block, go in. Look, it's marked in. Can you see that? In and out. Micro channels. Strix. Because um, the, the graphics card that we're running is a Strix graphics card. Nice. The guy was right. I mean, if it was used, it was I don't think this thing was ever used it, it doesn't look like it I mean if he did he, he didn't use it very long maybe he built in it I don't know I mean the, the top badge looks good I mean look at the threads the threads aren't even dirty see what I'm saying so I mean he was right it's definitely brand new but used um, cost me 150 bucks for it been waiting about three weeks for this thing to arrive and I'm excited. I cannot wait to get started on this build. So with that being said, that was just kind of like a rundown through of some of the new hardware that we got. I still need to go back to work because I have all of this to fix and work on and need to organize all that stuff. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Y'all are awesome. Please leave a like and please comment. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. Y'all know the deal. Y'all be cool.